Hello minions and welcome back to another Titanfall video. In this video I will be giving my impressions about the Titan play and the custom loadouts available for the Titans. So hopefully you will tune in and enjoy. Titans are completely different than pilots in terms of strategy. Playing as a pilot is as easy as it gets on Call of Duty or any FPS game. But playing the Titan requires more strategic positioning and awareness of the HUD. Let's start our video off talking about the different types of titans available and the customization for them. There are three types of titans so far. You have Atlas, which is the basic used for all titans. There is Org, which is considered more of a tank type because of the armor. And last but not least, Strider, which relies on speed and agility. Each of the titans have unique special abilities associated to its class. Since I was only able to play with Atlas, his special ability is the Damage Core, which gives you increased damage. You are given 3 custom Titan loadout when you reach level 5. This in addition to the 3 presets, which are Assault, Tank and Artillery. As you can see, I have only one chassis, which is the Atlas. It is pretty much the standard type of Titan. There are 3 available weapons, each offering different kind of gameplay. There is the 40mm cannon, which is something similar to a sniper rifle, but for titans. It has a good range and provides good damage from a distance. Next is the quad rocket, which fires 4 rockets at a time with a massive range. It has two firing modes, one is direct and the other is more of a zoning swirl of rockets. It provides good damage but can easily be dodged. The last is the XO-16 chain gun. It is the standard machine gun which offers great damage and great firing. You get to choose between two tactical abilities for your Titan. You either take the shield, which reflects projectiles, or the electric smoke, which deploys a damaging smoke to nearby Titans and enemies. The obvious choice to start with is the shield. You can use it both passively and offensively. The electric smoke is good to use when you have a pilot trying to rodeo your type as it will damage the pilot and probably kill him before he can destroy your type. Ordnance is your secondary weapon. It can be used while reloading your primary weapon. You either choose between manual shooting rockets or a lock-on rockets. Both are great for the extra damage. Each titan gets two tiers of kits. The first shapes what kind of titan you want to play. There are three options to choose between here. The nuclear ejection, which allows your titan to go self-destruct mode with nuclear when it's due. The second is regain boost, which regains your titan shield faster. The third is fast auto load. I haven't tried this yet, but it should make you load your weapons faster, which provides you with more damage. I think the obvious choice is nuclear ejection, because you usually die in close quarter combat with other titans, and their nuclear ejection allows you to take them down with you. Tier 2 are focused more on support for your pilot. First kit is the auto eject, which ejects your pilot automatically when your titan is due, and also give you the clock ability for a short period of time while you are ejected. The second is survive, which lets your titan survive longer when it's in doomed position before having to eject. Both are good abilities and it depends on the type of titan you are playing. Either you survive longer to put more damage on other titans, or you can auto eject go invisible and try to ninja rodeo the enemy titan. This settles it for the titan loadout, so let us jump into the game. I'm playing last titan standing here, and it's the new mode introduced in the February beta. Every pilot starts with its titan, and the team that loses all its titans will lose the round. First team to win 4 rounds wins the game. Fighting titans is hard and unpredictable. You need to keep notice of your HUD and the environment. You can hear the footsteps of enemy pilots when they try to rodeo your tank, and once they start burning your circuit, you get a warning on your HUD here, where you have to disembark from your titan to kill the enemy pilot. This game mode is fun and very fast paced. Your titan can go down very easily if you don't keep track of your shield level. Disembarking and embarking with your titan is designed to be so smooth. You can embark with your titan from any position, even if you are in your Your titan has two dashes which help you reposition, run out of threat, or even chase other titans. If you lose your titan, you need to try and rodeo enemy titans and destroy their electrical circuit. The aim is to destroy all enemy titans before they destroy yours. When an enemy titan gets low on health, a weak point indicator shows on the titan where you have to focus that point to destroy the titan. Always make sure to dash away from enemy titans with nuclear ejection. 
When you destroy an enemy titan, most likely the enemy pilot will try to rodeo you from mid-air. Always keep track of the enemy pilot and try to kill him before he lands. When an enemy titan uses its reflecting shield, make sure you don't attack it unless you have your reflecting shield back. So when they fire the projectiles at you, you can also reflect them back again. Titan can easily melee enemy minions or pilots with one heavy punch. It's always fun to do that. Always listen to the notifications on your HUD when playing as a titan. It will be the determining factor of your titan play. I think the titan gameplay is amazing and it makes this game worthwhile. It is fun, fast paced and well designed. The combat is skillful and you could be bursted down easily if you don't pay attention to what's happening around. I can't wait to try the other types of titles and hopefully they will be introduced soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit me up in the comments section below if you have any questions related to the game. Thank you for joining me and have a nice day. Martinez, signing off.